Ask Audio Cuomo. This is your forum to put forward any questions you have real estate related. Welcome to Ask Claudio Cuomo. Now, as we head into winter, I feel this month's Ask Claudio Cuomo is actually quite poignant, as it's about something that is quite rare. It only happens every now and then during various property cycles, and that is the perfect real estate storm. Now, this month's question from Natalie over in Oak Park actually uh, got me thinking about this phenomenon. Now, Natalie asks this month, so Claudio, when is actually the best time to sell? And how can you time it just right? Well, Natalie, this is an absolute cracker and pretty much one of the most common things that uh, we get asked from week to week from various potential homeowners and sellers. Let's look actually closely at a few key factors that really affect timing and when is the best time to sell. Now, some of these key factors can be the timing firstly of your own sale, supply and demand, unusual external or economic factors, uh, interest rates, and also consumer confidence can really come into play. Now, all the above combined to have a very big impact on when is the best time to sell. However, let's look at why we're sensing and feeling right now that almost all of these factors above are actually combining to create the so-called perfect real estate storm. Firstly, the timing of your sale. Well, I've always believed that really, Natalie, the best time to sell your own home is when it genuinely suits your own situation. You may have recently had a child. Uh, there may have been a marriage or a separation or a job relocation, or you may have encountered all of the above all at once. Hopefully not though. So of course, your situation really greatly impacts when it suits you to sell first. However, in an ideal world, if you can combine this with timing, it's a winning combination. And when I say timing, let's talk about low supply and high demand. In any market, whether that be shares, trading, bonds, and of course property, it's really basic economics. That if you can time your sale when there is critically low supply and unusually high demand, well, these factors combine to create competitive buyer interest and generally push prices upwards. And this has certainly been the case in many of our core postcodes and areas, such as 3046 and 3044, in recent years, and also in particular, the past six months. As more Melbourne buyers have awoken to the value that our 12.5 kilometer from the CBD ring of suburbs provide. And each week, we're seeing just more and more fresh faces and new buyers entering our marketplace. And this has only been forcing supply to drop further and tighten. Now to the unusual external or economic factors that can come into play as well. I'm sure you all would have heard, but as of the 1st of July, we've seen a massive change to the first time owner grant concessions. This actually means that first time buyers pay no stamp duty on any purchases up to 600,000 and a sliding scale up to 750,000 plus a 10,000 first time owners grant bonus on brand new homes. This has definitely added to a huge surge of first home buyers looking to enter the marketplace with confidence and again creates higher demand pressure. And of course, there's interest rates. The Reserve Bank's cash rate has now been on hold at that all time record low of 1.5% for almost a whole year now. And with interest rates on home lending, the absolute lowest and most affordable that they've ever been. This is just another factor that's definitely encouraging more buyers to enter the property market. Now, consumer confidence also comes into it. This always plays a big role in how buyers act or perform within the marketplace. If confidence is high, generally we see more buyers turning out to open homes, viewings, making offers, and of course, bidding at auctions. And this is something, again, that we've definitely been experiencing a bit of a positive increase around recent times. And we definitely sense is at a very high level indeed. Now it's generally enough to see two or three of these factors combine to create quite strong selling conditions for homeowners. However, to see all five of these key factors coming into play at the very same time is really quite rare. And why we're referring to the current conditions and the foreseeable future as the perfect real estate storm. So in short, Natalie, what we're sensing and really feeling down on the ground is that if you as a homeowner or anyone else is considering coming to market now or in the very short term future, we certainly would recommend getting in whilst conditions are strong and ripe as they're not gonna last forever and even beat that typical spring rush of homes that can flood the market and dilute the number of buyers. This counter-cyclical strategy is actually one of Warren Buffett's 
best used ones. He's one of the most successful investors of all times and it's one of his key strategies for success. So if you're interested in finding out what this could mean for you or how it affects your property value, well feel free to drop me a line or get in touch on any of the contact info below or all the usual channels and just let us know how we can help. So friends, thanks for watching as always. I look forward to helping answer your questions again next week. Feel free to shoot through as many as you like. Nothing's too difficult. Bye for now and take care.